Okay, guys, so hopefully for number three, uh, you got square to 149. Number four, you guys got square to 58. Both those don't break down, so that's why I kept them like that. Uh, number five, I got square to 53. Number six, I got two square root of 10. Number seven, I got square root of 29. Number eight, I got square root of 109. Number 11, I got the decimal to be 7.5. Number 12, I got it to be 6.8. Number 13, I got 10.6 to be the missing side. And number 14, I got that side measure to be 7. Um, if you have some questions, just raise your hand and um, we can go over it. Um, but what I want to do is I want to jump ahead to question 23. We'll go over the application questions tomorrow. And what I want to do is, um, in this case, we're asked to find the area. So if you guys remember, area of a triangle is half base times height. So in this triangle, I have a hypotenuse, I have a leg, and I have a leg. There are some times in which your hypotenuse would be your base, but not in this time. Um, your height would be coming from this direction right here. Now here, I have a base. I should figure out what my height is. So what I'm going to do is use the Pythagorean theorem, theorem to figure out what the missing height is. So I know hypotenuse squared equals leg squared plus leg squared. So I know 11 squared equals 8 squared plus, in this case, I'll just call it h squared. So I got 121 equals 64 plus h squared. And I will get h squared by itself. So I got 121 minus 64 gets me 57. And then I'm just going to square root both sides to find out what the height is. And in this case, it is 7.5, approximately. We'll just round to the nearest tenth, 7.5. So I know the height, and I know my base, and I know area is half base times height. So I'm going to take one half of my base, which is 8, and multiply it by my height, which is 7.5. So I'm going to take 4 times 7.5, and I get it to be 30 units squared. That's what the area of this triangle is, okay? So I found the height. In this case, I'm trying to find the height and the base of my triangle. Once I do that, um, I'm multiplying them together. I'm dividing it by 2 or multiplying by 1 half. Let's look at this one. Uh, you guys are going to do 24 in a second. In this case, I have a height. This is my height. I have part of my base, but I don't know what this part of my base is. So I'll call it my x. This is my hypotenuse. This is a leg, and that's a leg. So in this case, I'm going to do x squared plus 8 squared equals 9 squared. So x squared plus 64 equals 81. x squared equals 17. And the square root of 17 is 4.1. So what happens is this becomes my entire base, and my entire base is 11.1 .1 units. So to find the area, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 1 half of 11.1 .1 and multiply it by 8. And when I do that, I get 44.4 .4 units squared to be the area. You guys are going to do 26 in a second. What I want to do is jump to number 27 with you guys. In this case, um, I don't know anything about my base. I'm going to call this, and I'm going to call this x and that y. So i got to find what my base is right here. Um, I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem again. This is my hypotenuse. This is my leg, and this is my leg. So I know it's going to be 9 squared equals 8 squared plus x squared. So I know 81 equals 64 plus x squared. Subtract 64 from both sides. So I got x squared to equal 17. And uh, the square root of 17, again, is 4.1. So that's what this part of the base is. Um, to find out this one, I would do exactly the same thing, but in this case, well, let's do that just to see what happens. In this case right here, this is my hypotenuse. Uh, this is a leg, and that's a leg too. So it's going to seem like it's going to be exactly the same. 9 squared equals 8 squared plus y squared. So I have 81 equals 64 
plus y squared. y squared gets me 17. y gets me 4.1 again. So I know this is 4.1. This is 4.1. So that means this whole entire length is 8.2. So to find the area, what I'm going to do is take 1 half of 8 and multiply it by 8.2. So I'm going to take 4 times 8.2. And I get it to be 32.8 units squared. So what I'm going to ask you guys to do is I want you guys to try questions number uh, 28, 26, and 24 for me. And I'm going to ask the teacher just to pause the video for about 10 minutes. And when you're ready, I want you guys to show the video. Okay, so... Hopefully, what you guys got was um, 15.5 units squared for number 24, 21.9 units squared for number 26, number 28, 82.4 units squared. Um, what you guys are going to do for me right now is you're going to be, um, Mrs. Wrinkle's going to pass out two things for you. One that you're going to turn in to me at the end of the period, and one that's for tomorrow. Um, for you're going to be working on just like a s couple sets of questions that deals with circles and the Pythagorean theorem. It's just an in-class assignment that's going to be due at the end of the period. You guys are turning that into me. But for homework tonight, what I am asking you guys to do is she's going to pass out to you a pair of notes that says unit six, circles and trigonometry, circles extension, circle terminology, arc length, and areas of sectors. Um, we are going, to, for homework tonight, what I am going to ask you guys to do is I want you guys to go to the page that has, I think it's the fourth page, or third page, that has these QR code readers right here, and the videos are on my website too. Um, you guys are going to be watching the arc length of a circle video, and you're going to be completing these questions that also goes over the area of sectors. That is for homework tonight. So you guys are going to complete the in-class assignment, turn that into me, so I could see it tonight when I come in and look at what you guys have done. And then you guys are going to have this video through this QR code that's on my website done for class tomorrow. Hopefully I will see you guys tomorrow. You guys have a great day.